you guys it's Mary Day down here in the Bahamas um, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of encouragement I know how hard it can be when you're trying to raise money um, for a trip especially when we went to Mozambique it was a great sum of money and we didn't really know what to do and I found myself crying sometimes because I thought where's that money gonna come from and God totally provided and I know he's gonna provide for you too um, a couple things that you can do to um, to help. I don't know if you guys have already tried writing letters to friends or family, people that you think would be supportive of the trip. Um, that was definitely our biggest fundraiser, our most fruitful fundraiser. Um, but one time I was not allowed to write those letters and we had to use other avenues. and. Going to small business or large business owners is a great idea. Um, we actually went to Mr. Booth of Booth Properties there in Tallahassee, and he gave the four of us $2,000 um, total that we split four ways um, towards our trip that made a huge, huge difference. So, um, and I'm not, I can't guarantee that he would do it again, but people like that. You know, you can go to different businesses and, you know, show them your letter, give them your little pitch, say, hey, this is what I'm doing will you support me and um, especially if you say we're going through an organization called team effort give them the website they can see it's legitimate and they're not just giving you money for the heck of it and um, you know you could definitely make some progress there so um, that's something else you can do also um, the need here in the Abacos is different from the need, say, in Mozambique or in Guatemala. Um, and I don't want you to be discouraged because it's different, because there's still a need, a very great need. <laughs> um, we only have one pastor for three churches, and that means that he can only be at our churches once maybe twice a month if we're lucky and that people who are not ordained such as myself get to preach the other two or three Sundays out of the month um, so there is a huge spiritual thirst um, in this community it's definitely a community you know people are still very much there for you but it's not like Wesley you know people are still longing to hear um, the truth being told and taught and having someone full-time investing in these areas and um, so what you guys get to do is um, invest in Pastor Joseph and help build his new house um, where he's living now is definitely not suitable for he's got two kids and um, it's just I haven't ever been inside but I've seen the outside and it's very small <laughs> So um, that will be really awesome. I think specifically, and this is completely a guess, I have only left a message with Marie, and so I'm not sure exactly what you'll be doing. But I think you may be either framing a roof or doing roofing, um, perhaps some drywall. Um, it will be construction work. And if you get really far along, who knows, you might even get to paint. But um, I know you'll be doing that. I hope that you may get to go down to the mud. The mud is an area where um, a bunch of Haitians live that are actually poor <laughs> amidst, or I guess among all of these very, very wealthy people. There's a, an impoverished area um, called the mud in Marsh Harbor where they live, and I don't know if you'll be able to help out there, but I, I hope you get to, because I think there's a more visible need there. <laughs> And um, just honestly sharing the truth and shining your light, supporting Pastor Joseph and myself, because we do, we need encouragement sometimes, and it'll be really, really great to have other people here that are passionate about Jesus and um, wanting to make a difference, because that's what we need really badly. So um, I hope that you guys are really pumped up about it. I am so excited and can't wait to see you guys in just two months. So um, keep it up. Don't lose heart. And know that I'm praying for you all. And um, 
pray for this community before you come in the area and the work that you'll be doing because when you do like God definitely prepares your trip and prepares a place for you so um, best of luck in fundraising and grow together as a team and as a family because that's what you'll become after a week together and I'm really excited to see you thanks guys